you will hear a number of different recordings, and you have to answer questions on what you hear. There'll be time for you to read the instructions and questions, and you have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played only once. The test is in four sections. At the end of the test, you will be given ten minutes to transfer your answers to your answer sheet. Now turn to section one. Section one. You will hear a conversation between a sociology student who is doing research on the town's new community centre and a resident. First, you have some time to look at questions one to five. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Hi. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, excuse me. Could you spare a minute, please? Oh, hello. Sorry, I was in a world of my own. I didn't hear you there. No problem. My name's Katie, and I'm a second-year sociology student. We're doing a research project on the importance of community centres to local residents. May I ask, are you a resident of Moulton? The answer is community centres. So community centres has been written in the space. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions one to five. Hi. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, excuse me. Could you spare a minute, please? Oh, hello. Sorry, I was in a world of my own. I didn't hear you there. No problem. My name's Katie, and I'm a second-year sociology student. We're doing a research project on the importance of community centres to local residents. May I ask, are you a resident of Moulton? Yes, I am. That's perfect. Would you mind answering some questions about the facilities you use? It, it won't take very long. Of course. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Far away. Oh, great. <laughs> OK. The first questions are to do with you, so can I ask how old you are? We need to know for statistical purposes later. Well, <laughs> I'd like to say 16, but uh, I'm 59. 60 next week, in fact. Oh, congratulations for next week. Um, now I just need your postcode, and then we'll get started. Right. Well, that's an easy one. It's H-A-8-7-U-P. 7A8HQP. Was that right? No, my dear. It's HA87UP. Right. <laughs> OK. Sorry for the confusion. <laughs> That's quite all right. Now, what about these questions? Yes, let's get started. So, one of the most important things we need to know is which of the facilities you already use. Right, OK. OK. What about computer facilities? Do you currently use public computers anywhere in town? Yes, I do. I go to my local library. Great. Uh, just jotting that down. OK. What about local sports facilities? Yes, I get down to the swimming pool at least twice a week. And education facilities? Are you currently attending any courses? Yes, I go to Spanish classes every Friday at the Further Education College. <laughs> That's great. I, I must say, you're very active. <laughs> Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10.
Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. OK, we're halfway through. The next bit is all about how the community centre could be improved, if at all, that is. I see. Well, I'll give it a go. Well, firstly, I'd like to find out your views on sports facilities. Which sports do you think the community centre should offer that it doesn't already? Hmm. Well, I'm not going to say swimming, as there's no point having two pools in a town of this size. Let me think. Um, what about yoga? I know it's very popular these days. Yes, yoga and badminton. I used to play, you know. Really? Yes, and I was quite good, though I'm probably a bit rusty now. It's been years. <laughs> OK. Do you think the classes should be split into groups? Yes, that's a good idea. I know that if there were classes only for pensioners, I'd definitely be more likely to play. I'm not as fast as I once was, you know. <laughs> OK, I'll just write that down. Great. Now we're nearly done. I just need to ask you some questions about education. What kind of classes do you think the centre should offer that it doesn't already? Well, I suppose the kind of thing that's no longer offered at the local college. Um, things like arts and crafts. Those kinds of classes have now closed as they weren't financially viable, apparently. Yes, I heard about that. It was such a shame. Those kinds of classes are so important for the psychological well-being of those most vulnerable in a community. OK, I've written that down. Now I need to ask you whether you would be willing to pay for any of the services we were just talking about. Um, as long as it wasn't too much, I have nothing against contributing. Something like two pounds per class seems like a reasonable rate for an old man like me. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, and lastly, then, I just need to know how regularly you think you will use the new facilities if the community centre makes the changes you have suggested. Well, I'd say three times a week, which is more than I go at the moment. I only bother on Mondays and Wednesdays, as there's nothing else on during the week that interests me. But I would definitely get out of the house more if they were to make those kinds of changes. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers.